Welcome back, y'all. It's Sister Circle Live. <laughs> and we have some serious black girl magic down to the circle today, honey. These ladies are each stars in their own right and all are shining bright in the upcoming movie, Little. Let's take a look. Were you always mean? I got big and I got rich. So now who gonna check me, boo? I wish you were my age. Then I'd check you, boo. I wish you were little. I told you, watch it. Jesus. <laughs> my God, my Shag God. God. <laughs> this woman is one of my favorite actresses of all time. She plays the boss from hell, but in real life, she's just a boss. A boss. <laughs> and a boss all around. Please welcome the incomparable Regina Hall. Yes. Yes. <laughs> but, but, oh, but wait a minute. But wait a minute. But wait a minute. Regina. Look at Regina. No, no, I'm Okay. Hi, dear. How are you? Good to see you again. Now, I, I know we got another friend in we the building. We got somebody else coming. Uh, they said that uh, yeah, she is uh, highly melanated. Highly melanated. Uh, because she has been a Emmy nominated. Hello, somebody. Oh, how about that? Mm -hmm. It is the beautiful I'm Golden Globe is Issa what she's Rae. Yes! yes. Relax, you guys look amazing. How beautiful Thank you are! Thank you so you. much. Yes. We are so excited that you all are here. You are literally the epitome of what Sister Circle is all about. Yes. And there's Our that. purpose and everything. We're just so proud of you in general. Thank you. Um, you guys, now I've heard that you guys have wanted to work I have with to each interrupt. other. Uh -oh. yes. I just love this hair so much. It is. It's great. It's great. It's great. I'm sorry. It's great. Yeah. Thank you. Really, I struggle very hard to wear my own so, hair on television. It, it, it looks difficult. amazing. It looks beautiful. Awesome. Thank you so much, Regina. Mm -hmm. I am going to be lit the rest of the day. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of lit, you ladies wanted to work together. Tell me how it feels now to be in such an amazing movie. And 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 comedy being your strong suit for mm. me, because I just love the both of you. I, you're Super hilarious. Funny. So how, what is it like being in this film and being able to really stretch your legs in comedy? Uh, it was a lot of fun, yeah. uh, to be honest. You know, she's an EP on the movie as well, mm -hmm. and so oh, to be able to 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 work with her, you know, I'm just I've been a fan for such a long time. Mm -hmm. We've been trying to work together for forever, and then just to to be in the presence of her joke energy awesome. is just it was just <laughs> phenomenal. It was just so 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 much fun. And Issa's amazing. You yeah. know, I think one of the things is we have these incredible generations, this incredible generation as an actress but as a creator yes. and so her mind is always working and creating and to be able to work with someone like that on set and watch you know mm. knowing that you know this per and you know Marseille as well but these two beautiful young women who are just you know so incredible so early mm. Mm. Yeah. Regina what exactly attracted you to the project you know I thought it was really smart yeah and the fact that a 10 year old had pitched it mm -hmm. was just wonderful that we get to have you know you know our little kids our little brown kids be mm -hmm. a part and witness a, a fantasy type movie yeah. and then obviously to you know work with Issa and Marseille. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And one of the things we also talked about was just that a lot of the content that we're a part oh, of yeah. uh, <laughs> like I know my stuff has a lot of curse yeah. words and stuff it's not necessarily <laughs> for yeah. younger mm -hmm. uh, people and so this was an opportunity for us to make something yeah. for you know the younger girls the yeah. younger black girls yes. to watch mm -hmm. and speaking of um, when Regina says like being on the set with you you know it's, it's fun to watch you cr be creative you know we've watched you be creative and an actress but now in this setting it's kind of like you just get to kind of just really get into acting what has that been like for you especially being around such amazing actors and actresses it's been so great you know this is um I, I love to sit back I had just finished Insecure so yeah. I was like Yay. let me get away <laughs> let me get away mm -hmm. and just let you know execute somebody right. else's vision and and that was a pleasure and it was great to just be able to sit back and and feel comfortable and you know mm -hmm. Tina Gordon was mm -hmm. the director and, and directed it I mean mm -hmm. obviously and then obviously Regina and, and Marseille so mm -hmm. just and then Will Packer so to just be able to feel comfortable in an environment where I was like oh yeah they got it uh, yeah. it was great so I'm sure you showing up to set every day was like just getting with family every single day once it we was. were awake, once yeah, we were I mean, awake. <laughs> let me just say this though Issa 
What's she about because, to say? No, because she, <laughs> no, because she had a lot of scenes with Marseille. Uh, yes. She had some good hours, so uh, our hours were long. That so was she, the best ever. So be, I don't know if you're aware of this, but when kids work, and mm -hmm. she was what? She was 14 yeah. by that time, yes. 13, 13. She was still 13? Yeah, 13. So my, my, minors have specific hours. You yeah. know, we, when we work together, right. we have to have 15 hour days, right. 14, 15 hour days. When minors work, it's like eight hours. Maximum. Oh, I yeah. Would say. Oh, yeah. You're well so equipped for that. I was mm -hmm. so excited when Marseille was on my car sheet. Whenever I had to work with her, I'd be <laughs> like, you get get younger. Like, I know. Yeah. Regina, you, uh, I, I've been watching you for forever since, like, Scary Movie. Child. Like, uh, the Scary Spokes Movie was amazing. So oh, my <laughs> yes, God. And um, you've always showed that funny side of you, the humorous side of you. But in this movie, you tap into your mean girl spirit. Mm. I, I, what was that uh -uh, like? Not happy. You know, exactly. <laughs> I was just saying, you know, it was fun to just play a fun mean, a funny mean girl. Yeah. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Because she was so ridiculous. And it was great to be able to have fun. I, I, unfortunately, I didn't get to work with Marseille mm -hmm. because we were the same person. Right. But Issa and I, like, coming in, like, having to be, because I, I said, Issa, why are you still with, 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 with Jordan? <laughs> why are you still, why working, are you still, for still working for her? I decided she must have great benefits. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's got to be great packages. But um, it was a lot of fun yeah. just to play. I think... When you're doing a comedy, you're in such an arena of playing. Mm -hmm. You know, the office scenes, like, yeah, it just... So much fun. It's just fun. What were some of your most challenging times on set? The most challenging times? Thunderstorms. Atlanta. Oh, God, yeah. We, Atlanta. 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 we don't know. It's right. all about the weather, honey. We're, we're, just, we go outside and say, okay, I think I need a jacket. We're just going to figure it out. I mean, every jacket. We have to stop for hours. Yeah. But when we come back, we're going to talk more about our weather and the movie. <laughs> because clearly, they're both out of control. Yeah. <laughs> so stay with us. We are back with Sister Circle Live, and we have an addition to the show, who is a producer, Tina Gordon. Woo! Director. 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 You, you get confused because you don't know. Okay. You think that's you're okay. Funny to I'll take you that from Atlanta. Again. That's a high praise. So, I mean, just starting off, um, th this film is amazing and funny. Um, what has it been like? Well, what was your vision for the movie? I mean, for, for what you do, what is your vision? What was you know, vision it all like? started with, I'm sure the ladies have told you, it starts with Marseille Martin. Yes. Mm -hmm. When she, at 10 years old, came into Will Packer's office mm -hmm. and said, I have an idea. Yes. And then went on to, when you go into Universal Studios, these big conference rooms, mm -hmm. big Big executives yes. and you're a little girl and you're like I have an idea yeah. I have a dream for myself it created the tone for my job Issa's job Regina's job we all used our experience yes to push this girl's idea into the world and wow. so that was sort of the beginning of me as a director mm -hmm. thinking about how there's little girls and big mm -hmm. big girls making magic yes. every day yes. just doing things that you haven't seen a woman in this space do yes. and I'm gonna do it mm -hmm. so I think all the women came to the movie that way I did mm -hmm. as the director and I found black women artists designers mm -hmm. production design, mm -hmm. everybody writers, that's like books. writers yeah right. that are just doing things in that space yes. even if you don't know it yeah. it's in the movie and well, so you I hope that people feel that energy because we just had amazing, uh, you know, black women contribute. Mm -hmm. But I, I do want to know, what was it about Marseille to make each and every one of you trust her? I mean, she's young. Mm -hmm. And a lot of a lot of people in our it's society, like, you know, they just, just kind of say, oh, she's a kid, she doesn't know any better, you know, I'm not going to take her seriously. What, what was it about her that made you all say, no, we're going to elevate her and we're, we, we trust her and we want to be a part you of know, this? You know, it was a good idea. Okay. Yeah. And mm -hmm. that's the thing is that at the end of the day, it was a good idea. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, with someone that age, you, you meet their parents, to be honest. Mm -hmm. You meet, when you're working with kids, you take all of that into consideration yeah. because it's yeah. not just her. a child. Yes. No, it's yes. the whole family, yes. and you want a child to have a safe environment, a fun environment, mm -hmm. and you have to look at children and see their actual inner uh, ambitions and desires. Yes. And if it's there, 
and it's not from you imposing it on them, right. you can say, hey, I'll roll with you. I'll yeah, go exactly. with you so in this seeing, way. So seeing her passion. You saw, you, yes, that's yeah. what I mean. We all had the experience, but we saw in her the passion. And the talent. Yeah, she's, it, it, she is. For all she is. Fans, <laughs> yeah. Watching Black Age, yeah. Her ability to 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 switch from being, you know, a, a, kid, a kid at yeah. the end right. of the day yeah. to being this biting adult who has to emulate Regina. It's just you not know, it was easy. just like we knew that she was going to be able to pull that off. Too. Now, what I love is is you know how they always say that Black women can't work together. What I love is that who this is that? the example. You know, <laughs> they always try to say uh, <laughs> this is the example because I, I don't believe in that, and I, this is the example. I just want everybody out in the world to see. Black women do work together. Um, it's just a well, preconceived notion that you mm -hmm. think that we don't. Mm -hmm. oh, and, yeah. and, and that, and with that being said, what do you want viewers to take away from this movie? And, and in an era of Me Too, times of pay disparity, all this stuff that Black women are facing right now, what is a, a powerful statement that you could? Think of that you will want people to take away, even though it's comedy and all of that, but it's still yeah. us. But you even know what knowing what the story behind the scenes, just right. that she spoke, <laughs> right. even there's a message in that. Yeah, yeah so yeah. what do you want our viewers, well, your viewers, everybody's, all of us, to take away from it? I would say the message of the movie is, is be yourself. Mm. And it kind of embodies us behind the scenes, and it embodies the message of the movie, which yeah. is, it's not easy when, when someone tells you, you can't do that you're not good enough or they laugh at you yes. and the message of the movie is essentially who are you going to listen to buckle down and be yourself and listen to yourself so I love that. that's that's kind of our message yeah. yeah and with that being said we are so glad that you women are yourselves <laughs> and all over our tv because i'm telling you you guys are doing your thing uh, and, I love and you, you too yeah you guys are always so supportive and and you. always so supportive and that is everything to us and you well, know thank just, you Thank you. Sister Circle is always home yeah. for you all, yeah. always. Oh, thank so you. don't stay away too long. I yes. love it. I love thank it. Thank you so much for joining us. It's been great, ladies, of course. And uh, we love having you down to the circle. And, of course, Little Little Hits Theater is April 12th. So go down to the show, because that's oh. what I like to do. I like to go to the sto to the show. Okay, then up next is John Gray and Aventure, and they're here to talk oh. to us about everything, the Lord and all that goes oh, yes. along with it. Yes. So stay right here. And the book of John Gray. Yes.